This instructional video will guide you through the proper use of Neogen's Veritox test kits to test samples for aflatoxin, Don, Fumonisin, Xarelinone, Ocratoxin, and T2-HT2. We will cover the following. The materials required to run a test. The extraction process. A demonstration of Neogen's Veritox aflatoxin test kit and an interpretation of results with Neogen StatFax 4700 microwell reader. Please read and follow the written instructions in their entirety prior to testing, as this video serves only as a companion to the written materials supplied with the test kits. To run Neogen's Veritox test kits, you will need the following supplies. A test kit, StatFax 4700 microwell reader or equivalent, Note that the reader should be plugged in and set up prior to running a test. Grinder or equivalent. Scale. Mycotoxin extraction kit, which includes extraction cups, filter syringes, and test tubes. A Wattman number one filter and funnel may also be used for sample filtration. Extraction solutions specific for the test kit you are using, either 70% methanol, 50% methanol, or deionized or distilled water rocket shaker or equivalent if you are extracting multiple samples at once or wish to use a mechanical shaker rather than shake by hand, test tube rack, well holder, and reagent boats, a timer, wash bottle, towel or absorbent surface, 100 microliter pipetter with tips, and a 12 channel pipetter capable of dispensing 100 microliter with tips. To order any of these supplies, Please contact your Neogen sales representative or our customer service department. This video will demonstrate the extraction of corn, as it is the most common commodity tested. Various commodities have been validated on the test kits, while most utilize this common extraction. If you have questions about a particular commodity, please refer to Validated Commodities in the kit insert, or contact your sales rep for the most current validated commodities list. A representative sample is very critical in evaluating the level of toxins in your entire commodity load. Grind the entire sample using a bun grinder or equivalent, so 70% falls through a 20 mesh sieve. About the consistency of finely ground coffee. Place an extraction cup on the scale and zero out the scale. Weigh out 10 grams, plus or minus one tenth of a gram, of ground sample. Don samples will be extracted in deionized or distilled water. Ocratoxin is extracted in either 50% or 70% methanol, and all others utilize a 70% methanol solution. Using this chart, add the correct volume of your extraction solution to your 10 gram sample. For the Veritox aflatoxin extraction, we will add 50 milliliters of 70% methanol to our 10 gram sample. Place the extraction cup on the rocket shaker and shake for three minutes. The alternative is to shake vigorously by hand for three minutes. Once you are finished shaking, let it settle. Filter extract using Neogen's filter syringes or Wattman No. 1 filter paper, collecting liquid in a test tube or a cup. An additional dilution applies to Fumonisin, Xarelinone, Ocratoxin, and T2-HT2. The Fumonisin 510 and 1010 kits are provided with pre-filled dilution bottles, while the other kits can be diluted into a clean sample dilution tube. Refer to kit instructions for specific details. If you have any questions about the procedure, please refer to the written instructions provided with each kit or contact your Neogen representative. For this presentation, we will be demonstrating Neogen's Veritox for aflatoxin. All test kits are generally run the same, but exceptions will be noted where relevant. Each Veritox mycotoxin test kit contains 48 red mixing wells, 48 clear antibody wells, 4 or 5 controls, conjugate, substrate, red stop, and an instruction manual. The Veritox Fumonisin 510 and 1010 kits also include pre-filled dilution bottles. To set up your test, place equal numbers of red mixing wells and clear antibody-coated wells in the well holder. 
you will need one well for each control and an additional well for each sample. For our demonstration, we will test one sample on the Veritox for Aflatoxin test kit. Therefore, we will need a total of five wells, one for each of the four controls and one for our sample. Multiple samples can be tested at one time, but Neogen recommends running no more than 20 samples at one time for a total of 24 wells. Put the controls in order from the lowest to highest concentration. Reagent bottles should be mixed prior to use. Do this by swirling each bottle prior to use. Using the 100 microliter pipetter and a new tip, prime and pipette 100 microliters of conjugate into each red well. Note that the Ocrotoxin grain test kit uses 200 microliters of conjugate for each red well. Using a new pipette tip, prime and pipette 100 microliters of the zero control into the first red well. In ascending order, with a new tip each time, place 100 microliters of 5, 15, and 50 ppb controls into the appropriate wells. If using other test kits, make sure to place controls in ascending order based on the value stated on each file. Place 100 microliters of filtered or diluted extract into the last red well as your sample. Using the 12 channel pipetter adjusted to 100 microliters, place the appropriate number of tips onto the pipette depending on the number of wells. Mix conjugate and samples up and down at least five times by drawing liquid into the tip and dispensing. Draw up 100 microliters, making sure no bubbles are present. Transfer 100 microliters into the clear antibody wells. Start the timer for two minutes and mix by sliding back and forth for 20 seconds. Discard the red wells. Refer to the test kit insert for specific timing of other mycotoxin test kits. While this is incubating, Fill the wash bottle with distilled or deionized water and set up the absorbent towel. When the timer goes off, shake out the liquid in the antibody wells. To wash, fill each well with water and dump them out. Repeat at least five times. Turn the wells upside down and tap dry on absorbent towel to remove excess water. Check for excess water or bubbles. If present, tap again to dry. Do not put anything into the well or blow air to dry, just tap. Place a small amount of substrate into reagent boat based on the number of wells. Using the 12 channel pipetter, place new tips on the pipetter and draw up 100 microliters of substrate and place in the clear wells. Start the timer for 3 minutes and mix by sliding back and forth for 20 seconds. Refer to the test kit insert for specific timing of other mycotoxin test kits. Discard any excess substrate from the reagent boat and rinse clean. Do not pour back into the substrate bottle. The wells should change from clear to shades of blue. While the second incubation is proceeding, place the appropriate amount of red stop in a reagent boat. Put new tips on the 12 channel pipetter. When the timer goes off, draw up 100 microliters of red stop and place in the clear wells. This stops the reaction and ends the test. Mix by sliding back and forth. Ensure that the liquid is homogeneous and there is no layering. Continue to mix if layering occurs. Once the test has ended, you have 20 minutes to read the wells using the Statfax 4700 reader or equivalent microwell reader with a 650 nanometer filter. Wipe the bottom of the microwells and ensure that there are no air bubbles and place the wells in the carrier as demonstrated. The wells should line up with the arrow shown here. Zero control always first. Select Run Test. Select the appropriate test programmed into the reader. For this demonstration, we are performing test number one, aflatoxin. Select the number of wells you want to be read by pushing number of wells then the number, and select Enter. Select Accept. Select Start. The reader will print out the receipt with quantitative values for controls and sample. The middle column is the absorbance of each well, and the right column shows the exact parts per million or parts per billion of the controls and sample. Our sample today was 1.5 ppb. Below the columns, you will see the R value. If this value is less than negative 0.98, the test is invalid and must be run again. This value ensures the test performed correctly. 
Neogen also offers an optional Veritox for Windows software program that reads and logs test results electronically. If you have any questions about the procedure, please refer to the written instructions provided with each kit or contact Neogen.